Hey guys, Timmy Haig here, owner of Arsenal Comics and Games, and this is our Eisner nomination video. It's our third year being nominated, and we're so glad, and we can't wait to show you our store. Here it is! Arsenal's color scheme is green and purple with a little bit of black. The store's logo was crafted by my partner, Paul, who is a co-owner of the store and does all the store's graphic design. Arsenal is very big on being a team experience. Without our great staff, the store would be nothing. Hey, I'm Angie, and I do your polls. My name's Aaron. I help run Dungeons and Dragons games on Thursday nights here at the store, but I also help with other things in the store like gaming nights for Magic the Gathering, uh, Yu-Gi-Oh tournaments, Pokemon tournaments, and Dragon Ball Super tournaments. Right through the door here, we got the register. Next to the register, I have something I'm really proud of. It's the What's in Your Poll. We have the latest previews magazines from all the companies to showcase what's coming out. And below that, free copies of promotional material that advertise up and coming comics so that people can gladly take home. Next to the point of sale system, we have a display further advertising poll lists, the service we provide that makes sure any customer can get any comic their heart desires. We also have a graphic novel highlighted for what might tie into a movie or TV show or something that just came out that's very popular, as well as a new arrival single issue that we ordered extra on because we have faith in it and we know it's very popular. These items are on top of our showcase. Our showcase is known as the Arsenal Comic Showcase. It features comics all the way from the Golden Age to the Modern Age, which features many key appearances, number ones, and hard to find comics that collectors strive to find for. These comics can range anywhere from $20 up into the thousands. We love selling collectible comics that are a piece of comic book history and providing a smile to our collectors that they don't get often because a lot of these books are just so hard to find. Across from the register is the new comics wall. And on our way to the new comics wall, we have our Pop Funko figures. We strive to make sure they're more in the realm of comic books and superheroes, but of course we dive into other elements because we know fandom is a wonderful big thing. Here on the new comics wall, we have it separated two ways. We have this week's comics, and then we have everything from the last month. Both sections are alphabetical, and each comic is displayed as well as possible possible that space permits. The new comics will all be laid out cover to cover, but as the last month's books, there's only so much room, so there is uh, some overlap, but we always make sure the title and issue number is shown. Advertised on the wall, of course, is another thing for customers to know that pull lists exist. We love to provide any comic book that a customer desires. Our wall will feature all the major publishers as well as a few indie publishers. Above the wall is the new releases of graphic novels, and then above that are more back issue eye candy with comic books that just feature cool covers that we think collectors will like. The store is a giant rectangle, and to the left side we have the new comics, the right side we have the counter, and in the back we have the back issues. The back issues feature anything from the wall that's older than a month. And then we even have other miscellaneous Silver Age and Modern Age comics. Our back issue section is known for being quite massive and very easily to navigate because of its wonderful organization. We have it all alphabetical, just like we do pretty much everything else in the store, but we'll have groupings with characters. So Batman, we have about six long boxes where it'll be also alphabetical, from Batman to Detective, to Gotham City, etc. In the middle of the store, we have action figure collectibles, board games, records, and tons of cool, smaller knick-knack items like buttons, mystery minis, and keychains. On each end cap, we have a theme display. A theme display can consist of all the issues of a current comic event, graphic novels that helped inspire a current movie, or just something that we want to showcase, like our recommendations or things that we really think need to be in people's hands. Our gaming shelves consist of products like D&D, board games like Catan, Trail in the House of the Hill, and just like everything else in the store, it is all alphabetical. We try and make everything as easy as possible for our customers to find, and of course, if they cannot find it, we'll gladly help them look for it or see if we can special order it for them. Behind the counter are a highlight of comics of back issues and variant covers that are just great eye candy, that are impulse items for the customer when at the register. To the left, we have some highlighted pops, 
figures that just came out, new releases, as well as our card gaming product and card gaming accessories like sleeves. Once you get further to the left, we have our collectible showcases that have statues from all sorts of companies and different characters that can go from all sorts of prices. Beyond that, we have the graphic novels. We have a shelf dedicated to indie publishers and local creators, as well as a selection for manga. To the left further, we have five giant cases of graphic novels organized A through Z of every publisher you can think of. We have titles on the shelves that show the character, show the comic, uh, throughout the shelving to indicate what letter of the alphabet it is. The back of the store is our gaming tables, which host many gaming events through the week, five nights a week, and in the afternoons as well. And if we don't have an event, gaming tables are always open. This gaming space also provides a community center space for community events we provide, as well as store signings. This event space is very useful for us for so many things because it brings people together and provides just fun for the community as well as a great fun event for the store to host. This event space is very crucial for Free Comic Book Day and it's the biggest in the county. Free Comic Book Day for us is a true celebration of comics. We give one of each free comic to anybody that walks through the door. People leave with about 50 plus comics every year, as well as other goodies that we lay on the table for the early birds to get, as well as just other cool stuff throughout the day. We love providing an experience that is unique to Arsenal and unique for our customers that they can get in no other shop. We strive to make sure we have store events like gaming, community events, classes that are free or paid, and tons of other cool opportunities that they will remember and appreciate that Arsenal created for them. The mission of the store is the smile, the experience, and just making sure that they're at a place where they know comics, toys, games, pop culture is celebrated.